Hello, it's Dynamic Dan here, and today I'm thinking all about the part of the Easter story where Jesus is put on trial. His crime, saying he was the King and the Messiah. His punishment, being put to death. It hardly seems fair, does it? And of course, there are lots of things in life that we think are unfair or unjust. I'm sure you've all heard the phrase, that's not fair. You've probably said it to your mum or dad at some point too. Well, I thought we'd play a quick game now, a game with an egg. And this is the kind of game you might see at a carnival or a fun fair. Or should that be unfair? Let's find out. Step right up. As it's nearly Easter, I have this exciting game for you with an egg and two cute little chicks. This one is called Bertie, and he's very big on social media. He's got a big following on Twitter. Tweet, tweet. Sorry, that joke was cheap. Oh, cheap, cheap. This chick is called Pierre. He's a French chick, or should that be a chic? And as Bertie would say, we only use one egg as an earth is an earth. That's a French joke. Now, the aim of the game is to keep your eye on the egg. I will cover these three egg cups with the lids and mix them around. Do you think you can see where the egg ends up? Well, let's find out. In fact, why don't you come in for a closer look? Hey, diddle diddle, the egg starts in the middle, but watch what happens when we cover the cups. Round and round the three cups go. Where the egg stops, nobody knows. But do you know? Well, let's find out as we mix up the cups. Extremely fast, but where do you think the egg is now? Is it in the middle, on this side, or on this side? Where do you think? I think you're saying in the middle. Let's have a look. No, sorry, that's a chick. So maybe over here, let's see. No, that's a chick too, which means that the egg is over here. Hmm, it's a tricky game, I'll admit. Tell you what, I'll make it slightly easier. I think we'll take one of the egg cups away and just do it with two. On go the lids, and it's time to mix them up. Round and round the egg cups go. Where the egg stops, nobody knows. <laughs> Okay, hmm. you, you may have thought you saw something there, but, but don't worry, that's fine. We'll carry on. Uh, where do you think the egg is now? This one? This one? Mm, I think you're saying this one, aren't you? you what, this one? Okay, I'll, I'll show you this one. Uh, you, no, that's a chick. So the egg must be under this one. You, hmm, you, you might think that I'm not playing fair. Tell you what, we'll just try with one then. On goes the lid, we'll just use this one here. Are you ready? We'll mix them up, even though there's only one. Round and round the egg cup goes. Where the egg stops, nobody knows. Where do you think the egg is? Surely you'll get it right this time. What's that? This one in the middle. Well, let's see, is the egg here? Yeah. No, this is Pierre's twin brother. Hmm, it's a mystery. Well, the egg actually is down here. I'll show you. It's inside this bag. Do you want to see? Here's the egg back where it started in the bag. And that is well worth a big round of applause. Y uh oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, do you want to see? I'll show you what's happened. Look, oh, that's not fair. Oh. Well, to begin with, that might have seemed like a fair game, but actually, it really wasn't. Whichever cup you chose, as a magician, I could simply change it. Hardly fair at all. And we were just playing for fun. Now imagine if you had to pay money to play, and there was a great big prize to win that you had absolutely no chance of winning. How would you feel? Angry? Upset? Well, there are lots of things in life that don't seem fair that can make us feel that way. Maybe we get sick and we can't go to a friend's birthday party. Or maybe we're stuck at home in lockdown and we can't see our friends at all. They don't seem fair, but they're things that we can't change. But what if we see someone who's being bullied? Or we see someone cheating on a test? In those situations, we have a choice to make. Do we ignore them? Or do we stand up, speak out and say something?
When we see something that's unfair, we all have the power to change it. And we can start by telling a grown-up who we know and trust. Christians believe that God is always good and always fair, and that he has the power to change unfair situations. And when we see something that isn't right, if we speak up against it, then we're helping to change it too. And that's no yoke. <laughs> well, today's big question is this. What is the most unfair or unjust thing that's happening in the world at the moment? I'll leave you to think about it. I've been Dynamic Dan. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome and bye for now.